this is more of an in-depth discussion of my trailer and some things that showed up in video number four on mods to help during placing the hull from the water back on to the trailer. Everyone creates keel guides with somewhat of a V shape at the entrance to help center the keel in the guides, thus centering the hull perfectly on the trailer. Almost every case, the guides extend from the very back of the trailer forward to where the keel's final resting place occurs on the trailer. So, for the keel to hit this V-shaped entrance to the keel guides, it must be very high on the trailer or very far forward to be in shallower water for the V and the guides to work effectively. When the keel comes in contact with a guide, the hull is very far forward on the trailer, so the guide does not have to be very long, but high up next to the hull. At this point, the bow is coming up very close to the winch, so the hull has to become centered on the trailer because there are no other options. My guides, built out of treated wood, are somewhat long, so they can be bolted to the trailer's cross members that are four feet apart on my trailer. You can see they were built in my garage and bolts to the trailer without any welding. These guides are almost 30 years old. My guides are lightly bolted to the trailer for ease of removal for bottom painting the hull and the keel. A video will be coming up in the next couple of months where I lift a hull above the trailer bunks to apply the bottom paint without totally removing the trailer out of the way. My sailing mentor created this rudder holder right after I purchased this boat and trailer. He came up with its trailer location and the hold down of the gudgeon attached to the trailer to hold the front end of the rudder. A L bracket with a hole large enough for the rudder pendle would work great. A couple years later, I added the carpeting and the bottom clamp so I would not have to use bungees there. Boy, this whole setup works great. I do not have to lift it up into the cockpit and the cabin or the garage for storage. It's always right there out of the way of everything.
Before I launched this Catalina 22 for the very first time, I built a stern crutch to hold and guide the mast before raising. My mast spans the hull from the stern pulpit to the bow pulpit, so I do not need a crutch to haul it. So an adjustable crutch for the height adjustment was not necessary. Building one out of wood to get started seemed like the easiest and the most economical way to start. I bungeed this wooden crutch to the trailer. The second year launch, the trailer sat in the parking lot overnight. Well, someone must have needed a two before for something at home and helped themselves to it. So I had to build another. I sometimes use a second mast crutch in the companion way to support the mast while I double check the stays and climb up on top of the cabin for the final lift. I have the same setup of the hold downs on the other side of the trailer for this second crutch. Noting the problems with the first design, I added the hook for the top of the stern to carry the weight of the mast and not the rudder gudgeons. The hook takes care of the twisting motion on the pintles but not for the uh, fore and aft motion. So I added the cross member between the gudgeons. The roller at the top is just a length of PVC water pipe around a piece of all thread. Everything is painted gray to match the galvanized trailer. This crutch is now over 25 years in age. When I built the hitch extension, Coming up next, I add the metal mounting brackets to the trailer for the crutches, so I no longer have to physically tie it to the trailer. I said in video number four that I changed vehicles, which is much lower in ground and water clearance, to tow the boat, so I had to extend the hitch for launching and recovery. I had no problems with finding the metal and using tools in my garage. I cut the metal to size and drilled holes in everything to bolt it to the trailer. Now, my son is a professional welder, but everything is working so great after four or five launchings and recovery that welding has not been necessary. You can see in the video that the front of the extension swings on a bolt like a hinge forward and a side bracket is attached to the trailer hitch to support any side movement at the front. The boat weight on the original hitch and the new extension keeps it all in place vertically. Everything is like duty in construction, which works great because I'm not towing the boat only moving it around in the parking lot at two mile an hour. Thank you for watching this crazy old man and his ideas.
over the last 30 years.